A special edition of Today with Matt Lauer and Meredith Vieira, live from Washington, D.C. All right, Meredith, thanks. Now, from the skies to the roads, if you're already dreading the traffic that you're going to sit in today, you're not alone. NBC's John Larson runs down the worst bottlenecks in the country. She gets up at 6, facing what is officially the worst stretch of highway commute in the country. This is horrible. Where is it? I'll tell you in a minute. Now, we can put upbeat music over traffic, but that don't make it pretty. It's stressful and the traffic's really bad and you need to get somewhere on time. No matter where you are, traffic is likely getting worse. These people should know. We have almost a million vehicles nationwide that report to us every minute or every couple of minutes how fast they're going and where they're located. Inrix near Seattle uses in-road sensors and GPS in a million commercial vehicles to track traffic. Top 10 worst cities? From the bottom up, Atlanta, Seattle, Boston, Houston, San Francisco, Dallas, D.C., Chicago, New York, and the worst, no surprise, L.A. It's just horrible. And any time, morning, afternoon, night. But maybe surprising, what's the worst traffic time? Friday between 5 and 6 p.m. How about the worst morning? Wednesdays. The best weekday? Monday. But getting back to Alicia Mahulafite, the woman at the top of the story? It just goes from bad, you know, to worse. She drives the worst single stretch of traffic congestion in the nation. The worst stretch of road in the United States happens to be in Honolulu between 6 and 7 p.m. Uh, on Friday. Honolulu, two hours for a little over 20 miles. So, is there a happy ending? Traffic congestion is only going to continue to get worse. Nope. For today, John Larson, NBC News, Los Angeles. That probably got a lot of people's attention this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs>